Alright, I hope that music's not too loud. Um, I'm, on, I'm somewhere really cool right now. I'm on a rooftop in Ho Chi Minh. This is my hotel's pool. This shit costs $10 a night. $10 and you get that. Um, the reason I'm taking this video is because of, I guess, the amount of distaste towards Americans that I've experienced lately. It just bums me out. And at first, you know, you just brush it off, it's nothing, but it keeps happening again and again. And if they were all just claims, then I'd be like, all right, yeah, yeah, whatever. And without a doubt, my country, the United States, has done some horrific things. We have a difficult past, you know, there's still problems that exist, absolutely. But for the most part, the people are excellent. The people are wonderful, they're kind, they're friendly, they're accepting, they're helpful, they're willing to share wealth. It's a good country. It's a, it's a wonderful place to live in, in, in every way. You know, in opportunity, uh, financially speaking, our, our, I mean, naturally the landscapes that America has are excellent, some of the best in the world in my opinion, and I just keep hearing, you know, just bad thing after bad thing, not just about its people, but like America in general, and it makes me wonder, like, have these people ever traveled there? How many Americans have they interacted with? And how much of it is just coming from the news? How much of it is coming from it just being a popular take nowadays to shit on America and think that Americans are stupid and unintelligent and undereducated? And without a doubt, there are, as I said, there are flaws. There are many undereducated people, but it seems as though the highlight is on America, that that is the place just to pick on now. And it just seems like a lazy take. Go there, talk to the people. Don't just just go and be like oh yeah you guys are all racist over there like, shut up shut up who says that especially to someone you just met and then for example last night Shmi and I were hanging out with this Australian guy and well I don't know who subscribes to me on YouTube it's four people and I assume that it's it's just like three people who watch the videos who know me and those are the uh the mass of the views so anyway shmi my friend jared he's a very loving person he's loud he's energetic and those are the reason that people like him people like that he's so outgoing and funny and kind of loose and floppy and so last night we were at this bar and we were playing pool and i mean he, he was drunk and he like tipped back and on accident, he like hit the pool sticks with his elbow, and one fell against the wall, like that far. Made a noise. And then this Australian guy, I saw him go over to this girl and be like, Americans. Like, shut the fuck up. What does that have to do with Americans? Nothing. Nothing at all. Don't just take easy little jabs because you're trying to get some ass. That's pathetic. And then, you know, I saw this guy go up. It was Thanksgiving yesterday, and Jared and I found it. There was, there was an American on the street, and we went up to him and we gave him a hug because it's nice to celebrate that with another person. And this Australian guy was getting into it, so we'd go up and ask people if they were American. I saw him ask a German man if he was American. He said no, and then I saw the Australian guy go over and apologize to him. As if asking him that question was such a great offense. As if Germany doesn't have a scarred past. There are so many places in the world that have so many terrible histories to them. Why focus on just America's bad history? Why take shots at them? It's lazy. And I'm not one to say like that nationalism is the way to go. Not everyone has to fly an American flag off the back of their fucking F-250. In fact, I, I mean, I don't necessarily think that would be a good thing whatsoever. But for so many people that I've met to have a preconceived notion as to what American people are and what the whole country is as a whole, and just assume that it's such a, a bad place to live, 
it hurts me. And like, how have we let that go on? Uh, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I am undereducated. And this is entirely a possibility, and I accept this because I could post this, and maybe someone will see it and be like, "Kid, you have no idea how bad your country is." But I find that hard to believe because I've lived there my whole life, and it's been a wonderful place to live. And after having traveled now, like, I mean, it's not like I'm the most experienced traveler, but now I've I've been around a little bit. I've seen other countries. And I love them. I absolutely love them. I love the places I've gone in Asia, the places I've traveled in Europe. But everywhere has its flaws. Absolutely. So why just pick on America? The flaws are evident, yes. But couldn't you like try to get to know the people from there first? Especially those that I've met who have never traveled to America and who have experienced very few Americans. Get to know them. Give the people a chance. That's that's not the right way to go about the world. So I know this is kind of just a run-on rant, but I needed to get it out because it's kind of it's been festering in me. And I'm not hurt by it. I'm not truly hurt. It's just I hope that people I meet say say if I meet someone in ten years, I hope they can have a little more open of a view and not just assume that they're just dumb, fat, undereducated poorly traveled people from America. That's not it. Especially not in my experience. The people I know are wonderful from America. So, if you're seeing this, and say if you are from another country, get to know some Americans first. And go to the country. Travel, see it, and then judge it. Or, just see if it's good, period. What's so difficult about that? Everywhere has flaws. You don't need to pick them out. See the good parts about it. Because there are inevitably good parts about the United States. As with any country. So, that's it. I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound like a nationalist because that's not the stance I'm coming from. It's just, give people a chance from the United States. That's, that's all I'm asking. That's it.